Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is a continuation of my uh, Captain Jack's outing on with the Ultra B. Pretty much stock, stock battery, stock brakes, stock controller. More than plenty of uh, power and stock configuration to wheelie like I did over that. That's the thing people don't understand. You don't need a clutch. You just twist that throttle and it picks up the front last second. Uh, I'm told, but the advanced riding techniques. I guess I still don't understand what the advanced techniques are because no one will say. Well, that tends to be the complaint from moto riders. If there's no clutch, you need it. You need to slip the clutch. I think this is just a complete different riding experience that they don't quite understand. Because if you had the clutch and... Uh, leash law! <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> like, you don't have a friendly dog. Oh my god. People, I know, that dog was going to be a great, that's why he grabbed it, which is good, but you know how many people walk their dogs and just hike? If it's not friendly, and it's not friendly to motorize, then, you know, you probably shouldn't be out here on the trail. So anyway, that's my little side rant. But Captain Jack's here is probably one of the more brutal areas to test your e-bike out on because it is just basically uphill of course i'm going down to the one spot where you kind of go down before you go up but for the most part you're just constantly climbing so like heading back i'll probably just use like two to four percent depending how easy i take it yeah you don't use much going back Plus, you got the regen action going. I don't know quite where I'm set on that. So I haven't researched this bike to even know how to play with those settings. I really need to do that. But as we get further up, plus and less people come back here, so that's always nice. So if you're looking for a good group to join and you want to hit single track and you know, moto guys won't care, most of them. Some are snobs, but mo most are not. It has two wheels, right? Uh, and you want to hit this stuff? And you want to be with people? Oop. Thank you, just me. And you want to hit this stuff? You know, hit up uh, Single Track Squids on Facebook, answer the questions, and great group of guys, gals. Like 99% of the people are very welcoming. You're always going to have 1% that are just dodds in life. They don't want to meet new people, what have you. They're just there trying to troll and you know from my understanding is I'm not an admin there or anything but you know they do a pretty good job at policing the trolling I very rarely share video there and stuff I mean I can this is single track but I just don't I was hoping it was going to be semi-moist up here. It looked pretty cloudy well, yesterday evening, but eh, you know, maybe maybe it did rain and it's just already soaked in and dried off. That's the problem here. 
Colorado is decomposing granite. When it's wet, it's awesome. When it dries, it's so slick. Is this stupid thing loose again? Yep. Damn it. It loosened up. <sighs> Honestly, I might be able to tie in it because I might have tools for it. For that stuff in the tool pouch, I don't know. Because we can check that out when I get to the end on what's in the tool pouch. I'm really taking a look. See how comprehensive it is. Because having stuff for your axle is kind of smart, you know? It handles this stuff really well though. Let's go up. Oop, I should have brought the front up. But it plowed right through it. Yeah, the idea is run jacks here fairly quick so I can uh, be off the trail as it gets busy on a Saturday. So made to typical waiting point for people, 73%. Started with 100, down 73 in sport mode. Coming up there, coming up this, I guess. So unlock the seat, kind of push down as you twist. Take the pressure off the lock King mechanism. You take the seat off. This is why you wouldn't keep a charger in here, especially off-road. Look how dirty that is. Here's the tool kit. Let's see what's in there. Hopefully I can repack it. <laughs> Here we go. What do we got? We got this guy. That looks like a noun. Yep, that goes in there. Okay. Okay, I got loose, I think. A little bit, like not drastically, but I guess it could be tighter. Um, it's maybe this guy. Dude, is there an axle one? Uh, no, I don't see. So they didn't give an axle. Let's see this one. That's the biggest one. Huh. This side? Nope. Okay, that side's good. Huh. Yeah. So they didn't bother giving it an axle. It's a flathead. Let's see. Sometimes people think of things. Five point five millimeter. I'm not quite sure what that's to. Sometimes you can take a big one and a flathead like that. You can jam it side by side. Huh. <laughs> Okay, so Suron Ultra B 
really needs to have an axle, one of these. All it would have to be is one of these, just so you could go in and tighten that, because then that would pinch that back. It's a little better. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna lose anything. Do this side. Okay. Okay, there we go. I mean, that axle ain't leaving, so it's gonna be a little rattly for now. So I can get back, loosen that, and put that cap tighter to keep keep everything pinched. So, okay, then they're good to know what's in these kits, right? Um, didn't know there was not an axle. Otherwise, it's pretty good other than they just need to provide, just need to provide that damn axle adapter. And it would be a pretty good kit, right? I mean, I guess we don't have a rear axle either. See, so that's another thing they could do. Maybe even have a kit. Well, I don't know, just make it a more comprehensive kit. Like maybe a small kit here and then have one that has bigger stuff that goes like back here, straps down or something. But you see how dirty it gets underneath here? <laughs> So really, that needs to be taken off. That needs to be hosed off. And I figured that because it's all open. You wouldn't want to put a charger there. Unless you're using this strictly for commuting, it would be a horrible idea. Some people get so bent up about the China transformer versus the US. Because China one you can fit under there, right? But you can't fit the transformer with you because it's another brick. Anyways, hopefully you're enjoying the videos on this or on Ultra B. Y'all take care, stay well, stay safe, my friends.